Hi everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements. We're putting together a little slideshow. I've got an audio track on my timeline and I also have been adding photos to it. But here's my challenge. As long as I continue to add slides one after another, not a problem at all. But when I insert a slide, say down here between these two slides, notice what it does to the audio on my music track. It breaks it up. This is called rippling. It's timeline rippling. Quite often it works to your advantage as you're putting together a movie and you insert a picture or you insert a video clip into it. It's nice that it moves everything off to the right as you continue to add uh, media to the project. However, if you're trying to lay out a slideshow or arrange the order of a slideshow or want to rearrange the order of these slides, say for instance, drag this one here, it's going to continually break up the music track uh, as it ripples video track one. Well, what do we do about that? How do we override that feature? Well, for now, I'm just going to delete what's on video track one or on music track one. We'll re-add my music. Show you how to override that feature. If you hold down the Alt or the Option key on a Mac as you add your media to the timeline, and I'm just going to insert one right here, it limits the rippling so we can still ripple but only ripple video track one in other words as I add to video track one you notice that it's spreading video track one off to the right to make room for any media clip that I insert into it however it's not breaking up my music track so that's the alt or the option key this will work also if you're trying to rearrange the order of clips on your timeline just dragging one in front of the other, resorting them, and you notice it's not affecting any track except for the track that you're doing the resort or the reorder on. So that's a great little thing to understand how rippling works and how to override it here in the program. If you want to learn more about how these tools work in Adobe Premiere Elements, I hope you'll check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about this program, including how to work and override and work with, sometimes, uh, timeline rippling, you'll want to check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. That's my book. It's available on Amazon.com. And I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.